is the leader of this team. Look, this team beat West Virginia earlier this year. This team lost two heartbreakers to Arizona State by two and Dayton by two. They just need to learn how to finish. Number one is Zurich Fountain, who last year was sixth in the American in scoring. Helps to set up a layup inside. Only one on the floor at that point. Still working on a shooting coming off a horrible game shooting free throws. Here goes Baba Miller driving to the bucket, and he's got the Seminoles on the board. And this team responded. He's the true leader of this team. Number one in black, Zurich Phelps. Keep an eye on him. Chuck Harris, the former Butler Bulldog, buries the three. Needs and his desire to grow led him to become the first black athlete a couple of years later at UT Martin. He is the first of many in many different walks of life and specifically... We'll see if the game changes here. Bob it up. Two points after breaking the pressure. SMU on top by five. Trying to find Jalen Ganey. And one bad pass begets another. Here come the Knowles. Florida State back within three. For Florida State. Look, we're all familiar with what happened with Florida football when the quarterback went down and probably denied them a shot at the national championship. Now, how will the NCAA selection committee determine how these teams react when they add players to their roster like Primo Spears? Will it be a plus for them? It'll be interesting to see in March. Spears can't get the roll, but tipped in by Deontay Green. Within that SMU locker room, that is an impressive young man and an impressive culture led by Rob Lanier. Off the bounce, Deontay Green's got two more. And you mentioned where they get Spears back. They still are without Cam Corrin and Cameron Fletcher due to injury, so they are not whole by any means. There's the beautiful stroke of Darren Green Jr. Long rebound comes back out. Tough shot again, I think. Ganey may have gotten a piece. The Seminoles defense and rebounding is relentless. Yeah, their length is really bothering SMU, but on the opposite side, the same thing has happened. Six to shoot. Tough shot created nicely, though, by Chandler Jackson. And then the Mustangs finally score to put it back to a three-point game. Here's Chuck Harris. Step back three, nothing but net. You know, offensively, it's been a train wreck at times for both these teams. But let's credit how athletic both these teams are and how hard they've played defensively. Well, in an effort to get some shooting into the uh, game, Leonard Hamilton inserted Tom House. You saw him miss the three at one end, and that got the Mustangs, the Pony Express, out and running. And that's exactly what SMU is doing right now. Great defense leads to easy offense for the Mustangs. That'll be part of our coverage here on ACC Network tomorrow. Coverage begins at noon. Florida State gets a couple of points on the board. Well, normally that's money. Contested shot goes for the Mustangs. The best shooter, one of the great shooters in the country, number 22 in white, Darren Green Jr. There he gets a shot right here. That's the first time he's been able to catch the ball and actually make a play since the first half. He's got to go out and chase him. Yeah, and, and you've got to make sure he doesn't catch the basketball because he has had layers to his game. I call 7%. SMU's lead is back to seven. They're starting to move the ball better. We saw it late in the first half. They've made the adjustment. They've they put more pressure on the FSU defense by swinging the ball side to side and finding open shooters. Good penetration by Jameer Watkins. He's got his first field goal of the night. Back the other way comes SMU. Good ball movement. Find the open man in the corner. Got a good look, but Harris missed it. On the putback, it's now 29-22 SMU. Who did have the nerve to be able to bring on a black man in that environment and establish the groundwork that you're talking about? And he's a Hall of Fame coach, period. Yep. SMU's lead balloons to 12 off another Florida State turnover. SMU all night long. Steal leads to easy offense. That's why the Stags are in the lead right now. Chuck Harris, long three. He's got it. 
Harris now with 14 points to lead all scorers. That's not how basketball works. Harris got the defender in the air and then missed the bank shot on second effort. Able to score the basketball. Offensive glass. Well, when Coach Lanier told us today, Chuck Harris is a hooper. My kind of guy, go get a bucket. That's what I felt on that possession, Mark. Yep. Green. Contested three. Able to find the range. Played in arguably the best high school basketball conference in the country. The uh, Washington, D.C. Catholic League. He played at Gonzaga Catholic High School. Weak side rebound grabbed by Jalen Ganey. Florida State extends the possession. 11.45 remaining in the second. There's another force three for you, Coach. They were ready to play tonight right from the beginning, especially yeah. offensively, and their offensive game is caught up. Tough shot in the paint by Chandler Jackson. Well, how many times have we felt like there was a fourth shot from Florida State tonight? A lot. A whole lot. The little runner goes. Good touch on that shot. Right there. That's something you needed a basket. He came through. Knowles continue to start to make some buckets. Williamson pulls up. Can't get the roll. Offensive rebound. He pulls it back out. Best time to shoot a three. But there were black jerseys that pursued the ball. And that was Samuel Williamson. And, you know, he's been hearing from his coaches as Miller. Here goes Williamson. Hard to the basket off the glass with the left hand. Last two possessions, as you said, he was the difference. Primo, no. There for the easy two. Now can the white jerseys keep the black jerseys off the offensive glass? Watch the ball go up. Somehow the Mustangs got the ball back. Williamson from 10 has two more. Long and athletic Florida State team. The want to for the Mustangs has been better than the want to for the Knowles. Florida State gets a bucket on the reverse. Josh Nickelberry wanting to get it done. Two foot jump stop was bounced. Just got intimidated inside. Uh -oh. Lob it up. Williamson throws it down. Watch all the Florida State faces. See how they're all looking to the ball? You saw every face looking out. Georgia Tech. Yeah, reason one bright spot so far. Yeah, Reese Beekman went for, I think, 21 for Virginia and hit the game-winning shot favor. Yeah, there's a reason why Florida State has been so successful in so many yeah. athletic games. Wow. And Chuck Walsh, a great representative for Leonard Hamilton and this basketball team. And Josh Nickelberry, thank you for your personal note. It means a lot to an old guy like me, believe me. Message to Chuck saying, boy, that really was something. Yep. Never have seen anything like it in all of our years. Hard to swallow. Hard to yeah, figure, I'm hard to a, swallow. I'm not a fan of college football. There's a connectivity to this team that I did not see last year. Unselfish. And, and they've gotten just enough offense here in the second half to get themselves some separation. Coverage you can only find here on the ACC Network and the ESPN app. Seminoles forced the turnover, get the easy layup by Jameer Watkins. That should do it. SMU comes to Tallahassee and takes down Florida State 68-57. Final thought, Coach? 